pull them off. I think we need to fan. I think we need to fan. I think we need now. <laughs> Hello, welcome to a story worth telling. As you can see, we are officially doing the first episode of Fellow Travellers. Fellow explorers. We are, we're fellow reactors. <gasps> so we have something oh, in Oh, that's good. Already. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Yeah. I've kind of done a bit of like a, a mini research on this since we watched you the teaser. It, you? you spoiled it, you? spoiled it No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I swear I didn't. I had a bit of research into the background of what the show is about. Do you want to share more? Well, yeah, it's very interesting. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, you have to so, make me open that door, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Okay. The Lavender Scare, which is also based off... Lavender what? It's called The Lavender Scare, which is like the name given to like the period in history, but it's also based off a book. Essentially the persecution of not just homosexuals, but lesbians as well in the government in the US. Oh, the lesbians. Where are my lesbians? Where are my lesbians? Yeah, I think it was a bit of a, a witch hunt, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting time. But more importantly, I don't think I've ever seen anything talking about this. So already on the representation scale. Yeah, well, it's not the History Channel. Are you excited to watch another show with two white gay men in it? <laughs> Please remember to check out our Patreon where you'll be able to see all of this, but it's completely uncut. Uh, so yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, not even the Russians got their hands on this edit. Oh my god. <laughs> what, we're gonna be a little bit... A bit... <laughs> Lavender uncuts right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so what, what year are we in? The 60s? 60s. Oh, the 80s. Yeah! <laughs> right, well we nailed that one, didn't we? Hey, there's ice cream in the kitchen! Oh. Tell your mother I said it's okay. My dream of moving to <gasps> the mountain. Uh, in the end, she settled for going with me. I think this is in the future, you know. Well, it's in the 1980s, so it's in the past. It's about Tim. <gasps> Who? Who's Tim? I'm just tired of going to funerals. <sighs> oh, no. Uh, Tim's organizing his life. Of course, the 80s. Certainly things. I didn't see this coming. Well, neither did the gays. I think we're talking about the AIDS crisis of the 80s, where people started... What? Two seconds ago, you were like, this ain't the history, Joe! Well, and now I, you're I like, it's well... Relevant. But that makes sense, because he does look older. He doesn't look as hot as he looked in the trailer. Right. Well, that was just plain rude. Anyway, so, you know, this is around the time that, you know, people started dying from HIV. Um, when it progressed to AIDS. But also when he's like, oh, I'm careful, kind of makes me think that he might still be bit on the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's dangerous because as we all know, HIV isn't just a gay disease. It is a... Did you mean to do that when you said gay? But I, I'm, you know, this is probably not when we knew about the virus. Oh, I knew nothing them. about it back exactly. then, yeah. Oh. Is that DC? 52. <sighs> See, don't that look much you happy fresher? now? <laughs> I am much happier. Oh, oh here he is. Oh. What? What? Milk. Oh, he needs some milk. milk. <laughs> Just between those two looks there, you know. You know what I love? They're both gay in real life. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Party line fingers for fellow travelers. Tyke will conduct the He's clearly oh. chosen his... Are we cruising? We cruising. Although technically, I think that is actually called cottaging. What the fuck's going on here? Oh. Whoa, okay. How about, hello, what's your name? I honestly thought that was like donkey punch level crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you getting like the tension? I'm getting more hate. <laughs> it's all like, I want to explore it, but I got to be, yeah. I got to be like, I don't like doing it, I'm but I gay. like doing it. I'm, I'm not, not gay, gay, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna fuck. <laughs> It's more like, co oh, penis. Willie! You wanna give me your number? Give me the lighter. Well, I just want a little bit of connection. I guess you, you did what you had to do to like, survive back then. Almost imagine it now with the freedoms that we have to be like, oh, imagine having to live like that all, you know, it's not easy. And I- oh, Yeah, I mean, there's more than, there's more to life than sex. And they're not able to like, sit there and enjoy 
being, being in each there, other's company. Yeah. yeah. But they fought so we could run. Do you run? No, I don't run. <laughs> <laughs> they fought so I could waddle. <laughs> I need ass on a Sunday. <laughs> come to Washington to make a difference. I think my parents were hoping it would make me taller. Oh, grow it down. The threat of communism is real. Down, boy. I'm no red. I'm a war hero. So I have to go, and you should be careful. Don't stare. Because that ain't obvious. I'll spend the afternoon picturing you kneeling in prayer. Yes, Father? Oh, that hit a nerve. Okay. Oh, I, Lord Jesus. I think I might go to church now. <laughs> it's interesting how he's got like two modes, you know? He was happy to give out his number there. What I really like as well is that Another these guy. are two gay actors who will know what it's like to play hiding. So they're doing mm. it in what I would say is quite an authentic way because to the point where like I, as a gay viewer, am also like, I can't tell what. Like the vibe is how it's going, mm, like yeah, how much true, they're revealing of their their natures and stuff. Remember, you've been recommended by one of Senator Smith's donors, although you think Smith is soft on reds. Yeah, he is. Watch out for Joe's hands. Okay. That is a lot of sexual innuendo. Okay, so I'm all for you know, know gays I lifting up other gays. Right. True that's, that. That's really nice. Yeah. Support your community. We'll talk about that later implies that there's some kind of compensation for this effort that's gone into finding you a job. Starting investigations in our division next month, and not a moment too soon if you ask me. Investigations? Subversives and deviants. <gasps> oh, he seems very artistic. Keep your nose know what out code of for artistic is. is. Communism. <laughs> Would you like me to kiss you? No, Mr. Fuller. God, he's going balls to the walls, isn't he? Yeah, that one's gotta be mortal. Like, Matt has got to the level in his life where, like, he's... He gets what he wants. He gets what he's want, and he's managed to keep his, like, sex life separate and hidden very well. Whereas Jonathan Bailey is very much, like, probably brand new to this whole thing. Probably hasn't even dared to do anything okay. like that before. I didn't realize you had ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the capital of ulterior motives. He said God would forgive us. But he could never forgive God for making him what he was. Ooh. Wow. I'm not sure what to think, how to feel. They both very openly like acknowledge their homosexuality in front of each other. I know, but it's very <sighs> forceful. But he is a man of God. Pull him off. I was I was not prepared for this. Oh. <laughs> Do we need I mean, a fan? It's unfair. <laughs> I think we need a fan, yeah. I think we need a fan. I think we need now. <laughs> okay. 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 I I quite well. Where where who here? Yeah. Trousers. Ah! <laughs> God's sake! I was not ready for this. Four of them. Stop. Oh no! I like that. <laughs> what? what? He's not a maid. I ain't promising nothing. But I will do my best. <laughs> You're sweating, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, who's my boy? I am. I am. <sighs> who's a good boy? <laughs> Jesus Mary did Dunsey all that. Next time we'll turn her toward the wall. That's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> that was hot. Don't get me wrong. But Matt Bomer's character, I think, can only have sex in a way that he kind of like controls things. Yeah. Kind I mean, of like othering himself, but also <laughs> like he needed to give a name to him. He needed to like be dominant over him. Like, I think this is gonna be a, a little bit more of like a, not just love, it's gonna be a kind of like... Controlly power thing. Yeah. Fifty Shades of Lavender Gay. Oh, and I, like I would that. watch I like all that. 50 <laughs> of them. <laughs> I would like to fuck you into the middle of next week. I'm falling for you. He's buying him things. Sugar daddy. Sex daddy. Daddy. Jesus Christ! Get the fan out! Get the get that fan out now! Ah! 
<sighs> You're gonna need a full we're glass gonna, of milk to get through we're that. Gonna, we're gonna need a cow. <laughs> Next to you. This is more. This is more datey. This is. So it, you know, they couldn't go to a restaurant or a bar or have friend. a date. I don't know anything about you. But mm, yeah, I noticed this before. You never talk about your family. When he was asked the question, I don't like being questioned like a witness at one of McCarthy and Cohn's show trials. It's normal to want to know something about the person I'm fucking. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do. Mm. Not for God. Gaslighty, manipulative. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. He's clearly like two different people when he's in that room and when he's not. Look, they're both very troubled people who are a product of the time in which they've grown up. A hawk has like done this thing where he's compartmentalizing his identity, his se sexual identity, in just the bedroom, and does not want to grow attached to anything. But then equally, even though Jonathan Bailey, even though Tim is like kind of a little bit more, I want to get to know you. He's got this problem with his faith and kind of finding reconciling yeah. yeah i'm being investigated <gasps> they had me followed if i don't produce names they'll go to sylvie and tell her everything oh uh, blackmailing a gay i don't ask their names i can barely stand to look at them Jeez. wow we are we are so many levels deep in kind of internalized homophobia it's gay rights like, it wasn't legal then. It's a real height of, like, shame, mm. essentially illegal activity, like, hating oneself. Do you remember the, like, gay propaganda video talking about the homosexual man and yeah, how they're yeah, a predator? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. It's shocking hearing this language, because we are so removed from that. Blackmailing a gay guy to give up the name that of other gay dark. guys. I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Oh no. Stuck up this is the wrong bitch. kind of guy. You know exactly who I am. Hello, George Barris. George is Hawk. I have a name for you. I'm your boy, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm? A little subversion of power, methinks. Or... I don't think this was in the deal, was no. it? <laughs> nope. Little foot massage, perhaps? Yep. Oh, the socks are coming off. Oh, well, because the socks See, you have don't, to you come don't like yet. the socks. I'm glad they're taking <clears throat> the socks off. I hope these were, you know, fresh out the shower feet. Oh, Matt Bomer definitely cleans his feet. <sighs> I hope. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn, they can dig some kink! <laughs> I was not prepared for this. I like how open they're being about almost like feet, the kink side to it all. I love it. I think they're very much leaning into the the whole, let's keep this exciting. The pleasure back then is so kind of restricted due to norms of society that when two gay people get to explore it, you fucking go it gets for a bit it. Wild. Yeah. <laughs> kind of want to be there with them. <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Champagne cocktail. I was like, this is how you act in you public. Later for some real fun. We belong to the same club. Mm. So do we! Hi. In one respect, we're perfectly suited to each other. How? We prefer sex without emotional entanglements. Say we get out of here. Where are we going? Someplace way more exciting. <gasps> Chicken hut, the club. I hope you're gonna dance with me tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. See that red light in the cash register there? That comes on, you better make 12 inches of daylight between you and your friend right here. And you? You're responsible for them. No, I like this is rules. Well, this is rules. I. The police uh, are I mean, I think it's very clever. It's like, ah, uh, on the one hand, is it the queer community looking out for the queer community? Kind of, yeah. But also, do you feel like you're still not able to be fully yourself in that queer space? Because you uh, have to keep checking that light. Because you have to keep checking that light, yeah. Or you have to kind of keep more conscious that maybe you're probably the one couple that's going to give the game away. Like, they're close. Mm. It's clearly there. It's a queer venue and everyone is there. But looking closer at it, it's like, are people as being, you know, how they would be in freaking a gay club today? No. So... It's better than nothing, though. Right. Come on, let's get some tunes, though. Where's Kylie? Okay, Hawk, I have to ask you a question. You're sure you have to ask? Are you going to marry Lucy Smith? 
Ooh, girl. Christ. Yeah. <clears throat> JV, if there's any consolation, you are way better than Lucy Smith. But Skippy, that's all it was. Hawk, you are a can. bastard. He's I'm not. Sorry. He is. No. He is. Democracy and the holy war against communism. Grand ideas that just get people killed. Now, why don't you sit down? Yeah, I don't want to sit down. Hawk's character is, is kind of the, you know, we're just going to try and fit in to what society is is allowing and what it's, what it's built right. for us. Well, you, Whereas Tim I mean. is more like trying to push for he is. more. But you can't sit here and go, oh, bad Hawk or I don't like him because he's just doing what he feels safe in doing in what society is telling him is right. But if everyone did that, we wouldn't get anywhere. Yes, we wouldn't. And we only got where we are because people fought for it. You're absolutely right. Like you have to respect both characters for being as much their authentic self as they possibly can be in this scenario. Like it's mm. totally, and let's not act like we don't have people nowadays. So yes, we've come so far and it's amazing to see us kind of review things like this kind of beautiful queer representation as something in the past. But let's not forget that, that things like that still don't exist. And there are still whole groups of people <clears throat> who are living their life in a much more detached, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable at this level and no more. And other people who aren't. It's, yeah, it's, it's, be, it's, it's, good it's history. It's good it's representation, history. yeah. That I need to feel things, believe in things. You're the coward, not me. Does he have? Yeah. So she knows quite a lot. Yeah. You're everything to me. If I was everything, you wouldn't be going where you're going. I've had carnal relations. That's a serious sin, even for the gravest of sins. If you are sincerely sorry, God will forgive you and make you pure. When I committed this sin, I felt pure. You mean they picked him up, told him they were going to open an investigation. And he points the finger Fuck, at you. He tried to kill himself. <gasps> How am I supposed to live with myself? Christ, George, how the hell do I know? Yeah, you don't know. I mean, I have to admit, that whole, like, turning on another, like, that is not okay. And the Washington, D.C. police sex perversion elimination program. And whether they have committed criminal or immoral acts that would leave them susceptible to coercion. Mm. Criminal, infamous, dishonest, immoral, or notoriously disgraceful conduct, habitual use of intoxicants, drug addiction, sexual perversion. Doesn't leave much room for fun. <laughs> We're disturbed about them because they are dangerous to this country. Here we go. Kenny. How is his name? My first. I'd like to come up to your room. I want to hold you tonight. I'm afraid. I imagine a lot of people are afraid tonight. I don't mean the executive order. I'm afraid of you. My advice? Go inside. Shut that door. And lock it behind you. It's Hawk. I'm in San Francisco. I'd like to see you. Think about it. Well, I'll stay here and wait for your call. Just think what a difference like 20 years makes. Yeah. Bloody twinks. <laughs> you know, it's funny, you laugh like that, but it, it, it's that resentment, I think. Like. You think so? Yeah. What could have been? And I think some would look at that and be like, isn't that beautiful? I think this is going to be quite sad. Yeah. This feels like the end of a movie already, like, I, I don't know. know. This is gonna be. I mean, that could have been a movie of its own. That right. literally could have been. This is gonna be a really good series to react to. And I found it so. I was thinking just there at the end. I was like, when they were doing, when he was doing like the speech about the executive order. You know, we spent most of this episode, kind of analyzing how 
how good or bad or, or, or you know, the behaviour of the two gay people. And it's almost like you completely, both of us kind of completely didn't even think to talk about actually, they aren't the problem. It's this entire world mm. around them. All that language they were using. And I think sometimes that's really good representation when you almost kind of like, you you, you forget, you spend more time looking at these act, these two these queer people and you're going, well, how is that? And that when you suddenly go, oh no, hang on. Mm. And you get, you remember that they're living in a society that is far worse than even like how they could behave. Like, yeah, it kind, it kind of was a little bit of like a, whoa, like. You can bet that they're just doing that for, you know, the power game. Yeah. You know, demonizing oh, yeah. something to have like a common enemy that you can, yeah, this is all part of the whole politics of power playing and, Oh, and also the the, the whole the, the story going between two different times, which even though we saw Matt Bomer kind of looking at more you know younger people who were kind of embracing it, the eighties were equally not a good time. Not a good time. No. So we've had a lot of shows that have been like on the kind of happy, optimistic, kind of very youthful we have. side, and we have. this is more of a kind of thriller because because of the time period. Also, it's got this kind of yeah historical element to it as well hope you enjoyed indeed stick Thank around you. and subscribe if you want to see the show as we if do you want to see us fan each other even more and more and more because it's just oh, I'm enjoying much. the fanning yeah yeah mm. I'm sure it's not the last racy scene we'll see no <laughs> get on the floor no not with me <laughs> not with me thank you very much <laughs> okay yeah. I'm gonna go <laughs> sniff some armpits I don't know bye <laughs>